guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. So welcome to this week's um, Yang reading for May the 6th until the 13th. Um, so I would actually did a crystal ball reading uh, for the Yang and then I realized um, it was a 25 um, card spread. So that would be an ideal um, you know, spread for an extended reading. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll leave that as an extended reading so if you wanted to um, purchase that reading you could click the link below um, so I'm going to be doing a elemental reading I'm using the call it Baron Reed good tarot I think I might use different decks so let's um, this will be the emotional space okay and for the physical, we'll use John Holland, Psychic Tarot, Mental. Okay, and so for the physical, actually this is John Holland, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. This, this deck is John Holland, Psychic Tarot. So this will be for the physical. And what else? Um, Fairy by Lenormand. This will be the spiritual. And we will use the Osho Zen for the soul. Okay, so let's begin. If I need to use clarifiers, I'll use my smaller deck here. All right, so beginning with the emotional space. Six of water. So Six of Cups is the reunion card. And I actually saw this very strongly in the um, Yang extended reading I just did. So this is a desire to reconnect. This is um, feeling... Um, you know, like there's a void or a loss in your life. Um, you're, you're thinking a lot about somebody and you want to reconnect with them on an emotional level. So this is reunion. This is how you're feeling emotionally. You want to reunite, reconnect. Okay, so mentally, refuse to see. Interesting that we have a water card for emotional and we have... Um, you know, mental card for the, or, you know, sword card for the mental. So refusing to see mentally, you, you're wearing this, you know, lead helmet, basically. Your third eye chakra um, isn't fully open. So this is um, a crossroads, having two choices. So you're, you're stuck. And I also saw that in the crystal ball reading. Very, very prominent in the crystal ball reading that you felt stuck. You're overwhelmed. So mentally you're refusing to see something or you're refusing to make a decision. In the physical, sacral chakra. So this is where your emotions are stored. This speaks about your relationships, your connections with people in the world. Um, so in the physical world, you feel a blockage emotional, emotionally, right? So and you can see that. We can see this desire to reconnect on an emotional level, and you're, you're not feeling that in the physical reality. Um, and so that was also a prominent theme in the Twin Flame and Crystal Ball. The Four of Pentacles keeps showing up, and that's somebody who's closed off in the 3D reality. And we see that being closed off there. You're not making a decision. 
about something, you're not seeing something, even though there's a desire to re reunite. Um, you need to clear that blockage in the 3D, reach out. Uh, so the final message from the universe in the extended Twin Flame reading was coming together. So, you know, it, was, it spoke about um, reconnecting with people, um, feeling, you know, that magical connection with somebody unlike anything you've ever experienced before and basically going for it. So, um, yeah. Okay, so spiritually we have... Uh, this is innocence and purity. So we see, uh, you know, this little fairy sitting here on the rock. She's, um, she is unencumbered by the physical, mental, emotional world. She's just this pure spirit. So this is how you feel spiritually. Innocent, pure, um, a new start, um, is happening that you feel like you're just starting your life so the yang card was showing up in the present so this what i'm feeling here is um authenticity you you know even though you feel that disconnect and a lot of things are happening um at the core of who you are you feel this pure spirit that you no matter what um you know, this spirituality or this twin flame journey, you know, is is leading you to yourself to discover yourself. And that's really the most important thing right now. So even though you're disconnected emotionally and mentally, spiritually, you're wide open. Okay, so the soul is stressed, seven of wands. Um, very interesting that the uh, two of wands, or sorry, the two of pentacles was the main message from the universe in the extended uh, yang, and also it fell out of the deck in the twin flame reading. So what I was picking up with this is feeling like you're juggling a thousand balls, feeling um, unsettled, feeling like there's a lot of things happening, right? Um, so I would definitely watch the extended version because the synchronicities are quite strong here. So let me read that card to you. So your soul is, feels unrested. Too many burdens. You feel stressed. Okay. How many people do you know who just when they were completely overloaded with too many projects, too many balls in the air, have suddenly come down with the flu or taken a fall and ended up on crutches. That's just the sort of bad timing the little monkey with the pin in his hand is about to impose on the one-man band pictured here. The quality of stress represented by this card visits all of us at, at times, but perfectionists are particularly vulnerable to it. We create it ourselves with the idea that we, without us, nothing will happen, especially in the way that we want it to. Well, what makes you so special? Do you think the sun won't rise in the morning unless you personally set the alarm? Um, go for a walk, buy some flowers, and fix yourself a spaghetti dinner. Anything unimportant will do. Just put yourself out of that monkey's reach. There you go. So... Um, your soul is crying out um, for rest and to retreat, to find stillness. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, the near future for the crystal ball reading, it was intense. Um, we had the nine of swords, the nine of wands, the eight of cups, right? This is all very intense scattered energy. Um, and so your soul is really crying out right now. So take that advice, you know, um, find pleasure in the simple things in life. All right. So let's pull one final card as a message from the universe. So what final messages do you have for the masculine? Special thanks to the patrons. 
um, without it these videos would not be possible so I love you guys so much okay so final message cleaning house oh my god wow and I'm saying wow because this was a final message kind of energy from the twin flame reading as well as this card as well basically all the cards it's uh, you know repeated theme very strongly okay 37 and it all has to do with that ego the devil cleaning house it's time to clear the clutter and make room for better things when you see the cleaning house card in a reading it's time to declutter your life get rid of unwanted things in your physical home and release what you no longer want or truly need is there any unfinished business you should address thoughts memories and emotional baggage must be swept out of your house as well your conscience must be clear to move freely in the world celebrate a spring cleaning and feel the freedom as you make way as you make way for much better things look at what you've resisted discarding and be honest about its value be honest and clean house boom there you go be honest about what you what you need to let go of okay um you know don't be the hero don't take on a lot of responsibilities and just so that you can complain about it <laughs> later do you know what i mean um be real what's important and what isn't all right so please like share subscribe and comment please guys this um this helps me to know if i'm on the right path in terms of the readings so sending massive love your way all right cheers Hello, oh, masculine welcome to this week's um extended uh yang reading um, so I'm going to be doing a crystal ball. So it's a five by five grid, um, distant past, recent past, present, near future, and final outcome. There's four cornerstone cards, which represent the main energy of the reading, and then one center card from the universe. All right, so yeah, we'll go through each card as um, one by one. I'm not going to pull all the cards first. All right, so let's begin here. Uh, so first cornerstone card, um, distant past, nine of cups. So this is a card that you're bringing into the twin flame union. So the distant past energy is feeling happy, feeling satisfied, feeling emotionally um, connected to the people around you. Your relationships are flourishing. You feel supported and loved. Oh, come on. All right. Next. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So the King of Pentacles showed up as a foundation card for the Twin Flame reading. So, you know, it, it's kind of confirming the fact that you, f you feel grounded. You feel um, like you have abundance flowing into your life. And so that's what's making you feel happy. Now, the base chakra did show up in the reading. So we'll see if any cards kind of tell the story as to why that showed up but um, this is a long-term goal manifested um, this is retirement this is your kids are being looked after financially you know uh, feeling of home uh, and the nine of cups is also a wish granted card as well the seven of fire so this is confidence um, courage um, will uh, and it's exerted onto the world, right? So you're standing up, you're not, um, you know, um, you're standing up to a challenge. Um, this card is also about speaking your mind as well. So within this grounded energy, feeling successful, um, feeling connected to your, in your relationships, it's really... Um, giving you the power to to do what needs to be done um, and to overcome any challenges so the yang card showed up in your present position so i'm seeing a lot of that energy being reflected in these three cards okay next 
the universe. So this card is actually showing up in the near future for the Twin Flame reading. So um, showing up in the distant past, there's a sense of completion, accomplishment. Um, the, this is the end of the Fool's journey. So we can see a lot of completions here. Uh, the Nine is nearing the completion. The Ten of Pentacles is completion. But there's still some spiritual work that needs to be done or, you know, creative ideas that seem to be flowing out of you. So you are bringing the sense of accomplishment um, very quickly into the reading, coming from the past, the distant past. And again, this is also, you know, the universe acknowledging all of the hard work. And final cornerstone card is the ego. So this is some kind of limiting um, behavior, belief, a chain, an addiction, codependent relationship, a karmic partner. So it's a cornerstone card, okay? And so because we have the universe card rapist before it, it's telling me that um, the ego no longer controls you. You are unchained. You, um, you refuse to be swept up in the same old games that the ego tries to pull you into. All right, so recent past, first card is a Knight of Pentacles. You also got this card in the present position for the Twin Flame reading. So you have slowed down, but you're taking it one step at a time um, towards, you know, this manifestation of, you know, the Twin Flame connection. Um, or perhaps you already feel like you've arrived and you're just, you know, strolling through life. Um, you're not in a hurry. You feel grounded um, and you feel that, you know, there's going to be a payoff no matter what happens. Um, you know, this night always arrives at its destination. So this is commitment to a long-term goal and feeling accomplished. Wow, the Queen of Fire. This was the overall energy card for the Twin Flame reading, and it also showed up um, in the extended part of the reading for the feminine side. So we got a knight here moving towards this Queen of Fire. Um, so she's one who's very confident, charismatic. Um, she wants to be known, wants to be noticed. Now, the solar plexus chakra showed up um, in the union energy in the future. So there may be a confidence issue, especially with the ego showing up in the past. Um, you know, you're, you feel that she is just this beautiful, powerful woman that you're attracted to. And that's the movement that you're, you're moving towards her. Um, but you're taking it, you know, Every step is measured and calculated. You don't want to stumble. You don't want to mess up. Next. Wow, the four, sorry, the four of pentacles. This showed up as a final outcome card. So this is somebody who's closed off, and it also showed up with the ego, the devil card. So holding on too tightly, closed off, um, not willing to change or let somebody in. So it's right below the seven of pentacles, right or sorry, right below the seven of fire, right beside the queen. So, I mean, right away I'm seeing somebody who um, may appear closed off in the 3D, but there is, there is movement towards this queen of fire energy, and it's requiring confidence, it's requ requiring courage. Um, but I'm not seeing him opening up anytime soon. So let's see what the next card is. Okay, wow, well, um, I take that back. The Three of Cups is union. It's celebrating love. It's it's being connected with your tribe, um, you know, feeling love and celebrating that love. So it's right beside the Four of pen Pentacles. So even though somebody may be closed off, there is this energy that's building um, and a desire to reconnect with somebody and, and make it a fun connection, you know, play and laugh with each other. Card next one is the King of Water. 
this card actually showed up in the past position on the feminine side for the twin flame reading. So that would represent you. So if you were to watch the twin flame reading, I wasn't sure who the King of Cups was. And so that would be the masculine. That would be you feeling emotional, feeling, you know, that you're balanced emotionally and mentally. Now, you, there's something occurring in the 3D reality where you're closed off and probably retreating. The Four of Swords was a pretty prominent card in the past position. Um, now, the Ego card is just above it. So, what I felt with this is an unchaining. And I also felt that in the Twin Flame reading. So, where somebody was closed off, um, not being in that happy, connected space, they are slowly opening up, um, you know, um, emotionally with the Queen of Fire, you know, the feminine. So, movement towards the Queen of Fire. Somebody was closed off and now they're opening up and celebrating life and this emotional connection is balanced. Okay, so present position, transformation, metamorphosis. So you're, you know, this card is all about death of the ego, death of your old identity. So this says that, you know, you've been on this journey for a very long time. You feel emotionally satisfied. And so you're ushering in this transformation. Um, so cutting things out of your life was a major theme in the Twin Flame part of the reading. So we got that confirmation here as well that it's important um, to transform, you know, the, the snake shedding its skin. Okay, so next card, the Knight of Swords. So... Again, this is energy of cutting things away. This is a champion who rushes in, fights the good fight. Um, he is somebody who's very charming as well. They are the social butterfly. They love to sit down and talk about big ideas. So this is right below the queen of fire. So it seems to me like the masculine. Um, there's this winded energy that's flowing in the present moment and um, a sense of desiring to build up confidence um, in order to maybe approach her or to reach out and communicate with her, um, re rekindle that sense of um, dreams fulfilled and stability with this queen of fire. So a lot of nights is movement forward. So this is going to be the main card from the universe. Wow, the Two of Pentacles actually um, was the card that kind of flipped up as I was uh, shuffling earlier. So now it's, you know, being shown again. I kept it, I didn't read the card into the reading, but um, what I did say about the card, and I kept it up, was that this is a shift, a change, um, feeling overwhelmed, feeling like, you know, you're juggling a lot of balls in the air. And so we got... This winded energy with the Knight of Swords and a winded energy with the Two of Earth, right? So um, there's this breeze of transformation, double time, happening with the Death card and the Two of Pentacles. And, you know, the, uh, the Knight is also a transition energy. So the main, you know, message from the universe is Two Pentacles. Even though things are shifting and changing, you know, major transformations taking place, the universe is saying, don't go back to your old ways and close off. Become resist resistant, resilient, bend with the wind, allow that transformation, um, and cut away the things that need to be cut away. Next, third eye chakra, intuitive ability. So this is the subconscious mind, so you're looking for answers during this change. Um, now, right above it is the universe card, which is incredible card to to have in the distant past, right? It's your connection to source, third eye opening, right? And we had this synchronicity um, happening on the masculine side for the twin flame reading. Instead, it was the crown chakra that was activated with the universe card in the near future. Um, so that we have this peering into the 5D realm. Um, 
um, you know, amongst all of this chaos and change, there is a desire to reconnect um, and you're being drawn, divinely guided. And I was also picking up on that in the Twin Flame reading. Next, Eight of Pentacles, positive movement forward. We got a growth from a, a two to an eight. So this is manifestation of your dreams into the 3D reality. Now, I feel that there was a disconnect with the ego and a movement into the heart space, emotional uh, desire to reconnect, you know, to reunite. Um, and so here we have that manifesting, um, you know, could possibly be the connection manifesting into the 3D reality. So, you know, let's look at this row all together. So we have the transformation, death of the ego, a lot of winded energy, change, um, possible communication that, that comes from a you know, whatever this change that is happening is coming as a result of feeling divinely guided to change. And it's, and you have this foresight, you know that it's going to pay off. You feel a momentum building. It's like, I'm going to make some quick changes. This needs to be done. I know it's going to be hard things to do, but I feel that I need to do it and it's going to be good for me. That's kind of what I'm feeling with that. Okay, so the near future, Queen of Pentacles. So we got a progression from the knight to the king, or sorry, to the queen. Um, so this is somebody who is very open, generous. They share their abundance. They, uh, they want to create that home, that safe home. Um, you know, this is all about the family getting together. Um, and she's providing, you know, a beautiful dinner and, you know, basically making sure that everybody's needs in the 3D reality is being... Uh, provided for and but she wants to create a beautiful home and share of herself share her abundance so the near future um, we have that progression into manifestation this is harvest that thing that you've been waiting for now this could be a reconnect of the twin flames into the 3d reality um, but we'll see what the rest of the cards show. All right, next. Nine of Swords. Interesting. This showed up in the near future as well in the Twin Flame reading, but it was coming from the past. So tossing and turning at night, having a lot of anxiety, fears, worrying about something, and it's coming from the Knight of Swords, right? That's all about mental stuff, thoughts. So the Nine is nearing the completion of that. So we can see this energy is turned towards the Queen of Pentacles. Thinking a lot about this person. It could be an earth sign, but um, I'm feeling it is, you know, the, the divine feminine uh, in the 3D form. Okay, next. Nine of Wands has showed up in the near future for the feminine um, for the extended reading. So the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, Exhaustion. We got two nines in a row here. So um, there's a climatic moment in the near future. Uh, so this is all about not giving up, hanging in there, carrying it through, uh, finishing or completing what you said you're going to finish. So we have the seven progressing to the nine. So we definitely see a journey happening here. Okay, next is the eight of cups. So moving on away from something that's emotionally draining, um, you know, making a decision to leave eight cups behind. So there is what i'm seeing is a lot of tossing and turning exhaustion and then movement away um, in order to 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 calm your environment right there's um the main message from the universe was to you know find enjoyment in the small things in life right um tell a joke, uh, read a book, right? Stop thinking, stop worrying about all of this that's happening in the near future. So let's hope the next, next card is a positive card. Well, the five of wands is obstacles and challenges, somebody standing in your way. Um, now, this is probably playing into the ego and the four pentacles. That was the final outcome for the twin flame reading. So there you feel that there's just too much happening here and you you don't have enough strength um 
to do what needs to be done, even though there was a positive frame of mind beginning to formulate here, it feels like, um, you know, things just become too much for you. You want to be with this person in the 3D, you want to connect with them, but you're not ready mentally, spiritually, or emotionally. I thought maybe we were moving towards that, but it, um, you know, the, the final outcome row might say differently, so let's move on. Okay, so another cornerstone card is the Eight of Wands. So this is could represent communication, but it's accelerated energy. It's um, seeing the finish line and stepping on the gas pedal because you're almost there. So that's great. Okay, so you're overcoming these challenges. Um, and this is also Cupid's Arrows. Okay, so feeling like your hopes and dreams and wishes are coming true, taking it one step at a time, uh, allowing a transformation to come through. And then the Queen of Pentacles, there's that um, connection that happens in the near future. And as a result, either it um, instigates a connection, you know, communication, or, or you finally find the courage to reach out. Either communication comes in, you know, it could instigate communication, or um, communication could come in. I don't know if that made any sense. All right, next. The Seven of Cups. So this is confusion, having a lot of options, not knowing which road to take. So, you know, you send out that text or you get that message coming in. It uplifts you, but it also creates confusion. Um, so it's an uneasiness in terms of your emotions. You know what you want, but you don't know how to get there. So if you look to the past, you know what you want, that Queen of Fire, the Ten of Pentacles, but you don't know how to get there. You've been tossing and turning and not, you know, not knowing what to do. So hopefully there's some answers that come. Wow, there's that Four of Swords again. So this was, you know, it's the wrong image. I just want to point that out. It should be somebody sitting uh, beside a lake and resting and, and calming their mind. So it's a good healing vibration, but it does show up after the Three of Swords. So, <clears throat> so I feel that there is this pause that takes place and it's a good pause, be, you know, it's to contemplate and think. Next, the Page of Pentacles. So it's actually a card that showed up in the near future as well. Um, and it, you know, it showed up in the past position and for the, the feminine side. So there's this new beginning or offer or um, commitment um, that is taking place for the future, right? So you're working towards that long-term goal. And now we have um, a kind of regression happening here. We got the knight to the queen to the page. So this could be you just, you know, while you're in that meditative state is trying to get your thoughts together, trying to plan for the future um, and making a commitment to that plan. So here we see you kind of picking up the pieces of your life after walking away from something. You know, being in that confused state of mind, you've retreated, you felt things were overwhelming, so you retreated so you can think about stuff. And this is you now thinking about it and making a plan for the future. All right, final cornerstone card, nice, confidence and control. This is the chariot, movement forward. Uh, very powerful card of the free will, extroverted energy. Um, so exerting your power onto... Um, the world overcoming those challenges and obstacles that are standing in your way. Um, and this is also an emotional card, right? So, you know, what I see here is overcoming all of these barriers emotionally and um, physically as well as spiritually. Okay, so for the extended part of the reading, um, I'm probably going to do a different spread. Uh, so let me just pull one card as a, as a final message from the universe. Okay, so I'm going to use a call up bear and read again. What final messages do you have?
Thinker. Yeah, that's exactly what I was picking up on. Thinker. Okay, so the oracle message. Oops, sorry. Uh, the essential mess meaning. Strategy, being analytical and logical. So the relationship message. Love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there is enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work and... Should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in fantasy, no matter what. In this case, the facts are the facts. So, yeah, I'm seeing a whole lot of thinking happening here, right? And then a decision made and to move forward to pursue the thing that makes you happy. You're deadlocked for quite some time, and it's really creating a lot of turmoil in your life. Okay, so I hope this helped. Um, like, share, subscribe, and please comment. All right, cheers.